Hey there, Nathan Rice with the Airbnb course. And this morning I, I just wanted to kind of go over what to do when you know your your guest is asking to leave the place early before their reservation ends and there's just things that are out of your control. Uh, yesterday the internet went down. I, I called the service provider and they said yes, it's a known issue. We have a technician out there. Uh, it'll be a maximum of 24 hours before we can uh, you know resolve the issue and get the internet back up out of my control you know I, I can't control the utility companies nobody can <laughs> you know things just happen who knows right and then the second thing you know that's that's just kind of one aggravator for the guest who apparently came to our listing to do some work she couldn't work and then to add to that my next door neighbor was doing a roofing project replacing their roof and the guest said, oh, it's too noisy and we definitely can't get any work done, even if there's internet. So, you know, we're just going to go and, and find another place to, to stay for the next few days. And so there were three more nights on the reservation. And, you know, I've been in these situations before. And if you have, you know what I'm talking about. You just give them their money back. You tell them, hey, look, if you find somewhere else to go, we're just going to refund you for the nights that you didn't stay with us. I mean, these are things that are out of our control and technically you know you could get away with keeping their money and then you're just gonna have you know a disgruntled guest someone who isn't happy in your place I don't know what you know I don't know if they're gonna damage the place or you know I I, I can tell you with like a 90% chance that they're probably gonna give you a bad review you're gonna get a one-star review they're gonna talk trash about you know anything that they can think of just to make up a story and that'll just be stuck on your reviews on your listing and that's not what we're going for here so you know it's it's not a good practice to just give back money to anybody who you know wants to get a refund just because you know that they don't feel like staying but you know when there are things that are out of your control sometimes you you've got to make a great business decision and say okay it's it's totally out of my control but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna eat the cost and it's a cost of doing business we're just gonna give you your money back I really hope you find somewhere with high-speed internet that is working where AT&T didn't go down and um, you know a place that isn't having their their house worked on uh, next door you know th these are things that happen once every 15 years and it's totally out of your control but it's very important to keep your guests happy you don't want them making up stories on Airbnb and, and, and writing you terrible reviews. So if this ever happens to you, just kind of take a breath and know that yes, it's out of your control, but it is in your control to keep the guest happy and hopefully you'll get a great review as a result. And so my name's Nathan Rice with The Airbnb Course. If you'd like to learn more about how to run an Airbnb day-to-day -day operations and, and, and things like that, just click on the subscribe button below to our YouTube channel. And if you wanna learn more uh, about how to start an Airbnb and, and other things, we have a free three-part video series, which you can find in the link below this video. And I hope to see you and, and talk to you in the video series.